Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining. If you're new here, my name is Jenny. So thank you for joining and coming to my channel. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate the support and y'all are just awesome. So for today's video, we are going to be unboxing BoxyCharm. Y'all know how obsessed I am with this. I love the subscription. And by the way, if you notice my nail, I'm so sorry, I still haven't fixed it. Um, it almost blends in like a little, you know, gel top coat, but then I got these other long ones. I had just been so busy with work and it just always gets in the way with all of my fun. Excuse me. Yeah, I have to go get it done. And the girls on vacation too. And I was actually like just got them done. So it was like a really annoying time for it to have broken. But anyways, enough with all that, you know, first world problems. <laughs> so anyways, if you like to see BoxyCharm unboxings and then just keep on watching. <laughs> Go now. There's that do, 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 do. Where is that from anyways? Why do I keep singing it? Why is it always stuck in my head? And I got my cool new, what is this? Letter opener? <laughs> and I'm going in. Ah, oh, and what's going on? <laughs> oh, there we go. It's just a tough one. She is a tough girl. Okay. Hello, Charmer. And I did not see the card on top. So I did get a virtual card. So I actually got a spoiler and saw what was in my box. But then I heard people were getting the virtual cards and then they weren't really what was in their box. So I was like, well, I don't even know then. I do know of one thing that's in my box because I did choose it. And it is, mm, I like the way everything is looking in here though. The first item is this iconic London palette. I saw it on the choice and was like, oh, I have to have her. She's beautiful. She's thick too, y'all. She is a big girl and I love her and I'm living for everything about her with this pretty coloring. But most of all, <laughs> this. Whoa, I love sparkle and shine. So this is right up my alley. These colors are right up my alley. I'm really, really, really obsessed. That is so pretty and I can't wait to try it. If only I could get better at doing makeup. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then maybe I could actually come up with a really awesome look for y'all. So we will see. I'm gonna go ahead and get my virtual card and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the card and it's telling me that this Iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette is worth $62. And you can create endless beautiful looks with these 20 highly pigmented shades. These velvety soft powders include a mixture of matte shimmers and glitters for flawless day to night looks. Um, I, again, I'm not sure how I feel about this virtual card. I'm actually a little bit disappointed in it because it spoils the whole um, unboxing like to myself. Like even if I wasn't doing this YouTube channel, I really, really enjoyed getting this box and being surprised what was inside of it. I thought that was always so fun. So that part kind of stinks, but then of course it's better for the environment and less waste. So I don't really know. How to feel about it <laughs> but I don't like I said when I saw what I got if it was really what I got I was like it was exactly everything that I wanted so oh my variation also is variation at number 41 I wonder if it's gonna be a new thing because BoxyCharm didn't tell us so I just still do not know at all okay next we have these facial radiant pads first aid beauty and these are to help exfoliate tone and brighten I definitely need some brightening I got um, a lot of sunspots because I have been obsessed with the sun my whole life. And yeah, no smell, so I like that. First Aid Beauty is actually a beauty brand that I had talked about in one of my last videos. And it's um, really good for people with sensitive skin and eczema, so definitely could benefit from that. Let's see with our virtual beauty card. It is a daily treatment pad that contains the right amount of lactic and glycolic acids to safely and effectively effectively exfoliate, tone, and brighten all skin types. Regular use of these pads will smooth and the skin's texture, providing a perfect canvas for flawless makeup application. Definitely need that, love the idea of that. And this little jar of them, which is a full-size product, is $16. 
Actually, all of BoxyCharm is full-size products. In fact, this base box you get for $25 and is five full-size products that you receive. And I'm obsessed. I love it, love it, love it. I told you guys that I love it. So this is something else I was dying to get because if y'all been watching me for a little while, you know that I'm obsessed with brushes. Like, super duper love brushes. I have tons of brushes. I probably don't need any more, but I love them. So I'm really excited to have gotten these. And these are the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush Trio. This vegan and cruelty-free three-piece brush set comes complete with a complexion brush, a bronzer brush, and a brightening brush suitable for all skin types, delivering a flawless look. Okay, and these are worth $36. Okay, awesome. I think that's a good price point for some good brushes for free. Um, you know, I'm a frugal girl, so I always prefer them to be less. <laughs> but I think that's still totally affordable. So I wonder if this is the complexion one. Does it tell us? Oh, bronzer. <laughs> Just kidding, bronzer. I guess I didn't open the other ones to even know. Okay, complexion maybe? Yes, so complexion. I feel like this is the one I would use my foundation for. I like a flat brush personally, and then I like an ankled to do like a, ch a chiseled contour style bronzer. So I pro you don't have to use brushes the way they say they are. You can use them how you want to use them. And that's one thing I was caught up on when I first started my makeup journey all these years ago is I didn't know that. I always thought there was rules to makeup and there isn't. So you can do what you want. So this is the brightening brush. And I do see this being great for like putting powder under, you know, setting your powder in these fine areas. I think that'll be really good. So I am super excited. I'm going to try these out today for you. But of course, I'm trying out everything for you today. The next thing I see is the Pure 4-in-1 <coughs> Pure Four in One Correcting Primer. Energize and rescue with aloe, coconut water, and probiotics. Okay, it's silicone-free. Um, I like silicone primers, but I've heard that they're not always good for you. So I don't know. I'd have to, you know, look into that more, but four in one correcting primer energize and rescue will become your must have beauty tonic and primer for your best and worst skin days packed with a good for your skin ingredients, such as probiotics, aloe, caffeine, and coconut water. This primer helps smooth and soothe your skin and it is $17 to purchase. So just with the brushes alone, we have exceeded our value, but of course with this primer, we've gone far above. I mean, we've already gotten like great stuff. Like I told you, I was super pumped when I saw this was my box. And last but not least is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Lock in your makeup for long lasting wear with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Delicately coconut fragrance to take you back to the beach vacay every day. This finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooth over makeup for a crease-free soft focus finish with no flashback. So that's super exciting. I love trying new things, trying new powders. Um, I do like my Laura Mercier powder, but you know, my skin is dry. So I have been having troubles with um, wondering if I should, you know, try a new setting powder or is it even that? It's just that I have dry skin and, you know, powders can make you cakey and dry. So it's hard to say. Let's go ahead and figure out how much this box was worth. So our box is worth $153 and BoxyCharm promises that it'll be worth $125 with your five full-size products. So we did exceed that value by $23, $22, but um, we only paid $25 for the box. So first of all, that is amazing. Like what, where else can you get all these luxury items for that price? I just, I'm obsessed. And I think so far, I know I said the last one was my best box yet, but this is definitely my best box yet. I love it. I forgot to tell y'all, it is a great day to have mimosas. So we're going to go ahead and have makeup and mimosas to finish this up. Cheers to being off, a day off. What a blessing. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna start out with the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Oh, okay. It is a little runny. Mmm, it smells fresh and feels good. It is actually not thick at all, which I'm a little bit shocked. I'm used to a silicone based primer. So maybe that's why it's not as thick, but 
This is probably perfectly great. And let's give it a whirl. It feels good on my skin. Also, I'm going to use some clips and clip my hair back. I'm gonna go ahead and do my complexion with our complexion brushes that we received. I actually, like I said, wanna use this brush to do my foundation because for me, I like to use a flat brush and I normally use this brush that I got in a BoxyCharm a few, and actually it's from BoxyCharm, but my sister gave them to me years ago. And I love that brush. And as you can tell, it's very low, so it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like I normally do. A few pumps, might be running out. And let's see. All right, this so far, the brush feels like a decent coverage. I still feel like my Luxie brush has a better coverage, but um, I'm sure it's still workable. And once again, I forgot to put my concealer first, which I typically, oh yeah, see this really sucked up a lot of product. So maybe that's why this is not the right brush to use. But like I said, you could do your own thing. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do this. To the spot concealing, just I like to use one that's close to my color of skin so that I can um, just blend it in. Who am I to say? Yeah, so my product is already wasting away here. Yeah, I need to go in with more. So that part, I'm not digging that so much, and I'm actually a little disappointed because I really expected um, this to be amazing brush. And I still have a lot of redness here and stuff peeking through my skin. So I'm, you know, I'm just not sure about this brush. I'm disappointed, that's for sure. Anymore, it's crazy how much I need. It's just soaking up the product. Alrighty, so I'm gonna wipe that off with the trusty paper towel that I always have on my lap. Oh, and have a sip of mimosa, because makeup of mimosas. I'm gonna take the sponge and just kind of pat it all into my skin, which is what I typically do. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so eyebrows are on. I ended up using a darker color. I started going lighter again and I accidentally grabbed the darker one, but I'm kind of feeling it. Next, we're going to try the Ciate London that has this beautiful packaging. I love their packaging, it's so pretty, but now it's all smeared with my dirty hands. Mm. And it is the Everyday Vacay Coconut. I'm curious to see if it smells like coconut. I personally love the smell of coconut, but I don't necessarily love my products that I'm gonna put on my face to smell like anything because, you know, I do have allergies and I don't know, I just don't wanna be overwhelmed with the smell of anything. Because you never know how my skin will react. So this should be interesting. First, mimosa. Who else loves mimosas? If you know me, you know I really do. But I've been cutting back. Put some in the cap. It is a translucent powder. It's very white. I don't smell coconut, personally. I don't smell it at all. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics number one powder brush. I don't use it too often, but I'm going to tap off a little and apply. Okay, so translucent it is. You could definitely use this as baking. And the whole purpose for translucent powders are so that you can, whatever foundation color you chose, you can keep that color. And you don't have to change it with the look of your powder. So I think that's pretty cool. I don't smell coconut. I've heard people say they smell it and they smell it once they put it on the brush. But I don't, I don't smell it still at all. I'm going, I put some over my eyebrows because I like to lighten them up a tiny bit. And I'm also going to put some over my eyelids. I did use a little bit of concealer, which is what I normally do on my eyelids. And I just have a little bit of powder on. I am trying to just spend time with my family today. So I'm not trying to overdo it with my makeup, which just wait and see. This will probably end up with a fully overdone makeup anyway, because that's the girl I am. I like this. It feels good on my skin. Actually feels... Ooh, it feels really good. Maybe I do need a little more. You can bake with this, like I was saying, but I'm not really a baker because I have dry skin. So for me, baking doesn't always work out well.
Oh, Ciate London's Extraordinary Powder is pretty good. I do bake, although I say I don't, I do bake sometimes right here so that I can have that nice sharp chiseled line. To use this ColourPop Pretty Fresh and just kind of set it all in. Now this smells like summer. Mm. 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 And press it into the skin. Super dry under eyes. Gotta be careful. Need lots of moisture. Send moisture, send help. Now I'm going to dive in to doing the rest of my complexion and get on with eye look. I'm going to use my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I use this every single day. I really love it. See, I hit pan, and again, I love hitting pan. It just makes me feel so like, like good. I forgot to use this brush to do this. Whoops. <laughs> but here we go. I'm gonna dip it into my bronzer. This palette, y'all, smells like coconut. That's what coconut smells like. And I'm going to bronze my cheekbones. Ooh, that does pick up pretty well. I can never see this side of my face too well because it's darker in my room on that side. I haven't mastered the lighting, so I'm always like, I wonder if this side always looks bad or like has more product, less product, I don't know. But we're gonna go to the top of my head and give that sun-kissed look. My hair is getting in the way today. See, I don't like how it didn't cover up my spots with that complexion brush or whatever, it was actually a bronzer blush that I used as a complexion brush. And I'm gonna get down here. And I like to put a little bit down here as well. I like it here, there, and everywhere. So we are getting somewhere now. And I'm going to go ahead and put on this brush from Amazon. It's some cheap brush set that was like five bucks and I really, really love them. And I'm gonna dip in here and here. Actually, I always dip there first and then there because it's so pink. Love a pinky cheek. And I guess if you have a round face like me, if you come up like this, instead of going like this, you will maybe look thinner. You thin down your face. I really, really, really love blush. A lot. I'm getting another drink in the mouth. Mmm, so good, so good. I'm going to and use my MAC Hyper Real Glow and put on my highlight. I'm to use this brush that I got from my Ipsy bag. Hey, there's that pan getting bigger. Use it, girl, use it, you guys, so much. I went too high, but that's okay. Woo, girl, yes. I feel like I'm coming to life as my makeup gets laid down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a simple look, no big deal. Okay. And let's move on to the eyes. I am not gonna go crazy in, on the eyes because I've been on here for a while and you're probably ready for this to get wrapped up. The moment we've all been waiting for, the iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm going to start out with this crease brush and let's go in with In the Nude. It's a very nice mirror, by the way. I really like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to deepen the crease with Taupe de taupe. It reminds me of something like from Europe, iconic London. <laughs> like Tour de France. Let's go in with same brush because I just, oh, it's there, I see it, but I feel like it's so fair that I'm gonna use the Bellini color. This peachy, pretty, that one. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh, I really love that. Oh, I love it so much. Then I bring it over here. 
Wow, I love that so much. So pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to finish up this look very quickly with this Moda brush that I got from BoxyCharm some time ago. And I really like these brushes. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna go ahead and use Wonderland. I think I'm gonna spray it to really get a nice color on. I hope this is the right one that I want. I knew it would be more pink than I wanted and I would rather it be more peach. So I really like it though. I like it a lot. A lot. And I was trying to kind of just carve out the crease a little. And I'm gonna do the other eye and we are almost done. Okay, I'm just gonna take this brush that I originally was using and just kind of blend it with whatever is there. Blend two colors together to kind of soften the edge and make it look more finished. I love a good pink eye and I could definitely put some liner on. I don't want to though. I want to rock these eyelashes that I just got done a week ago that she did a really amazing job. They definitely are nice and full and I might as well take advantage of them looking gorgeous, darling, while they do. I'm gonna take this real quick, kind of blend it too. I'm super duper obsessed with this color. Like, oh my gosh. This is definitely my favorite new color. And so with that being said, I'm going to take this other Moda brush and dip it in that and line my lash line bottom lash line. You know what I should have done since I have this messy little finger? I should have used it to take advantage of being able to feel things, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my bottom mascara and I'll be right back. All right guys, here is the finished look. What do you think? I think I love it. It is a very pretty soft, glam look and pink has always been one of my favorite things to wear. I think it complements my skin tone and my eye color very nicely and it was so simple to make guys. I really really loved this palette a lot and I could see with these colors you could do like a going out you know look. You could do well you could definitely wear that during the day too. You can do something I created. I'm obsessed with this color like it is so pretty and I cannot wait to wear it again. I could also see wearing it without the pink shimmer and just putting some, putting it in the crease like I did and then putting some eyeliner on and calling it a day. I really love the soft look though without the eyeliner. Um, I also wanted to show you real quick what I was talking about, about baking, how you can um, do this. You just put some in the lid and just stamp it onto your beauty sponge and then do this to get a nice crisp line. And then you just let it set there for a while. Let it bake and then brush it off in a little while to have that nice crisp look. I will do that definitely with this setting powder, but the cool thing is it doesn't leave a white look, so it's perfect. I really liked it. I loved the palette, like I said. I'm not sure that I loved the primer. I feel like my pores stand out a little bit, but I'm not sure. I don't know how I felt about the brush yet. I think both the primer and the brushes need some more goes and I can try it. I did like these other this other brush, and then of course I forgot to use this brush, so whoops. In fact, I'll go ahead and use it now and dust off the excess product which is looking white, but this is not really the right brush to wipe it off. I use this brush. I would normally go like this. And if I feel like I'm heavy handed on my makeup, I like to just take a dry brush and dry over it. You can even do the same thing with your eyeshadow and just kind of get rid of some of the product to tone it down a bit if you want to be toned down. If you don't want to be toned down, then don't be toned down, girl. Go do your thing. So yeah, I loved this box this month. 
I can't wait to try these. Super excited to try those. I hope that I can show a difference between my skin. I'll go ahead and take a picture of when I started of my skin before and use them until they're gone and see how they look after. I think that's a really great idea. BoxyCharm, you've done it again and I love you. So thank you guys for watching so very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you would consider subscribing, I'd be so grateful to have you and have you come back and hang out with me. And cheers to y'all. Thank you for joining. Bye.